Keyserve's PBX now supports remote auto-provisioning IP phones with FQDN. In this way, we can remotely deploy a phone system based on PSERS PBX with no need for a static public IP address or port forwarding. In this video tutorial, we will walk you through the auto provision process step by step. Before we start it, please make sure we have upgraded our PSERS PBX appliance edition or software edition to the latest version and subscribe to the Enterprise or Ultimate plan. And FQDN on the PSERS PBX is activated. In the meanwhile, the remote auto provision is realized by coordinating with the RPS service of the phones. We need to ensure the IP phone that we use comes with RPS. Here's a list of the IP phones that we currently support for remote auto provision with FQDN. Now we need to guarantee that all the phones which we need to provision have access to the internet. And if everything's checked, we can start the remote auto provision. Firstly, log into the web interface as the administrator. And in auto provisioning, find phones. Here we can choose to click on add to register one phone or add bulk to register multiple phones. Here we will take add bulk as an example. Now we choose the brand and model of the phones that we are provisioning. Please note that in add bulk, we need to make sure all the phones that we registered this time should be of the same model from the same manufacturer. If we have other phones, we can finish this batch and then start new provisioning all over for the other models. Then we can manually input the MAC address of all the phones that we're provisioning right now. Then in the provisioning method, choose RPS FQDN. So now a provisioning URL will be automatically generated and displayed in our, on our interface. And here we have an authentication for the first time auto provisioning. It's an optional item but we recommend enabling it and doing the authentication to enhance the system security. Once we're down, we can move on to assign the MAC address to the extension numbers. And then click on Save and reboot the phones manually. Now we can go on by authenticating the phones if we have checked the corresponding option in the previous step. When everything's down, we can check the list on the auto-provisioning page we will find out that all the phones are registered correctly. And we will also see the indication from the IP phone screen. All right, so that was all for this one. I hope you like it. And don't forget to subscribe our channel, same as usual, if you need more details about Yaystar solutions. Please visit yaystar.com.